All right, for this exercise, we'll learn how to graph the production possibilities curve or to create the production possibilities curve using Excel. So given this data in your worksheet, um, you have butter and guns. And uh, for the next um, different columns, you have there the production alternatives, the different combinations from point A, which has zero butter and um, 50 units of guns, to point E, where you have 16 units of butter and zero guns. So the first thing that I would do is to copy these information, the data, to an Excel file. So here I have the information. Um, points A to E and they have the values for butter or the different alternatives or, or say data uh, for butter and um, combinations for bread as well. So the next thing that I would do is um, highlight the numbers and click on charts and when you click the charts you will it will give you the different types of charts and I would choose scatter and then click on smooth mark scatter and it will automatically give you or generate the the graph um uh, but i have to make sure but you have to make sure that the values for butter are in the y-axis and the values for the bread are in the x-axis uh, as you could see um they are not where they should be so I have to uh, correct the graph so one way to do that is to right click um, and then choose select data and it will give you the select data source um, under name I would type um, PPC which is which stands for production possibilities curve for the X values as you can see here in your um, Excel file uh, bread should be in the X axis so these values under bread should be in the X axis so I would select the X values delete them and when, uh, as you've noticed that when I put my cursor here in the Excel file, it's sort of like my cursor uh, is being followed by uh, what, a, a box, uh, sort of like a shadow. So I'll put that on the first value, which is 50, click it and drag it down up to zero. And there you go. Um, it'll show me that I highlighted all that are supposed to be in the the x val um, axis starting from 50 which is fine. column C row 73 that's why it says here C73 up to C77 uh, the 50 is in uh, column C row 73 the last value that's supposed to be in the x axis is 0 that can be found in um, column C, row 77. So C73 to C77, and that is correct. Next thing that I will do is I will go to the Y values, which should be your butter values. Um, just to be clear, I would um, highlight everything and delete it. And then I will go to uh, butter highlight the first value which is zero click on it and then drag it down up to 16 which is uh, the value under point e and there you go as you can see here it's from b73 to b77 since uh, the butter values are in um, column b starts starting from row 73 down to row 77 so once everything is good as everything is correct, I would K. Okay. There you go. So, as you can see here, this um, first uh, point or combination is 16 uh, and 0, which is which should be point E. And this is point. The next one is 
uh, 14 and 20 okay um, the next point is uh, 12 which uh, is the value for butter in the y-axis and 30 for bread and then um, the next point should be uh, point D which is uh, 10 uh, point B rather which is 10 for uh, um, butter and uh, 40 for uh, bread and then 0 and 50 so this should be point A B C D and E um, what I would do if I were you um, just to make sure that I you will not be confused is you know just uh, put your cursor in one of those points there you go it will automatically uh, sort of like highlight all those points um, right click on it and then select add data labels as you can see here the different uh, numbers would appear so click on one of them and then drag it up like that so it will basically uh, put it somewhere where it is visible like that this one there this one up somewhere where it is visible here over there this one right here so once again, this uh, point where it says here is zero, it should be point A. So I will replace it with A. This one is point B. This one is point uh, C. What I'm doing is I'm uh, erasing or deleting those and then relabeling it. Um, just to make sure that I everything is clear and it's less confusing D and point E once again how did I do that so um, once you finished all the the graph the production possibilities curve and you have uh, labeled it uh, properly the next best thing to do is to click on the graph um, and then right click on it copy and then go to your uh, worksheet to a word document and then um, right click and then paste okay so I have here the the chart now I have the production possibilities curve so um, and then I have uh, in that worksheet I also have for the the next question is uh, what is the opportunity cost of moving from point A to point B so from point A to point B uh, once again the opportunity cost is the cost of the item that you it's the item that you forgo um, in this case I have uh, to forgo the production of guns or I have to sacrifice the production of guns so that I could earn or or gain um, and some extra units of butter so the opportunity cost once again is focused on the item that you sacrifice so here we are sacrificing guns and how many guns from point A to point B it's 10 units of guns so the answer here is 10 guns all right um, the next question is what is the opportunity cost of moving from point B to point C well from point B to point C opportunity cost is focused on the item that you sacrifice so that you could get an extra you uh, or can get extra units of the item that you prefer so in this example once again we are sacrificing guns 
So from 40, which is uh, point B, to point C, which has which is or which has 30 units of guns. So once again, the answer is 10 minus 40. It's 10 guns. The next question or the last question in the cost of moving from point D to point E. So point D to point E is here. Um, or you could also look at your graph. Point D has 20 um, guns. Point E has zero guns. So that's 20 minus zero. The answer e is 20 guns. So here you go. Um, so in this worksheet or in this exercise, we learn how to uh, construct the production possibilities frontier using Excel. And we also was able to answer the, some of the questions uh, related to opportunity cost uh, and production possibilities curve. Okay, so hopefully this uh, uh, short exercise gave you uh, a good understanding of how you will construct the graph or the production possibilities graph using Excel and uh, reminded you of how to answer those questions related to opportunity cost and production possibilities graph.